welcome to this Lumion tutorial. In this video, we're going to show you three easy steps for building a phasing animation in Lumion. Let's get stuck in. To start, click on Place, and when the Imported Models window appears, select Import New Model, and you can then bring each object that you wish to animate into the scene one by one. Once imported, continue to build the rest of the scene as you normally would, position each object in their respective places, and then add your preferred materials, lighting, and effects. Once that is achieved, it's time to do a bit of effective scene management. So be sure to group your items logically and assign them to different layers. For example, place all your furniture items onto one layer and all structural items such as walls and flooring onto another. This will help us to keep the project file clean and easy to navigate, but it's also going to help to speed up the process of applying animations. Once prepped, simply hide any layers that contain objects that you do not want to include in the animation. Now it's time to head to movie mode. Click on Add Effect, go to the Animation tab, and then choose Animated Phasing. Under the Effect name, click Edit, then choose Add to add phasing effects to selected objects. So select a layer, and then hit Select Objects to choose what you want to animate. Next, adjust the duration of time your items will be moving for, and then choose the type of animation the objects will have when they enter the scene. Now there are different options here. Skydrop is going to make your items fall down from the ceiling one by one, while Ground Rise will make them appear individually from below the floor. Pop In will cause the objects to appear from the center point, and Implode uses the center of the group as a reference in making the objects appear or disappear. So just experiment and find your favorites. If you would like to reverse the order in which your objects appear, you can toggle Invert Stagger Order, or to specify an order of your own, you can select the items one by one rather than using a selection box, and toggle Stagger in Order of Selection. Repeat these animation steps for each layer, and save the changes. Check the preview, and when you're happy, get ready to render. And there you have it, a simple yet effective phasing animation. The phasing animation effect is a great way to showcase the evolution of a design or to guide a client through how different elements will come together in a playful and engaging manner. So play around with the feature yourself and see how you can find new and exciting ways to let clients experience the spaces you envision. Have fun rendering.